What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with the most famous men's physique athlete or rather a former men's physique athlete, Andre Dale. So Andre and his coach Honey Wambod have taken a bold career move by switching to classic physique for the year 2023. The main reason is the feedback he was getting from the judges lately. His arms were too big for this category is number one. And the interesting thing is that Andre stopped training his arms directly about one year ago due to the same reason. His best package was seen in 2020 when he cracked top five at his Olympia debut, beating some big names like Andre Ferguson, a former Arnold Classic champion. So, Classic Physique is next. This is gonna be one hell of a journey. Exciting, but extremely difficult. Because Andrea's legs are nowhere close to his upper body. We saw how Jeremy Portman, another famous men's physique athlete, tried to transition into classic a few months back. But later he realized that his body is no way capable of standing next to classic pros just because of his legs. So we will see how it goes for Andrea. As we all know, Hani is a great coach. And if he sports this transition, he must have a plan in mind. Finally, we have a training update from Hadi Chopin, moving some big weights less than six weeks out of the Olympia. Hadi is a super strong bodybuilder who is willing to do whatever it takes to win the Olympia. We see all these new guys coming in, posting crazy updates and great lighting. But the fact of the matter is when you stand next to a guy like Hadi Chopin who has been the most conditioned athlete in open bodybuilding for the last three years. Although he's short, although he doesn't weigh 245 pounds, but still he makes up for it and exposes the lack of conditioning of other athletes. That regional show in Brazil was like a walk in the park for Good Vito. The real challenge lies up ahead at the end of this month. The pursuit of his IFBB Pro card. I think he should have no problem getting the pro status as he is still tightening up every day. And the contest is 18 days away now. He did not even try to peak for that regional show. We have been getting Vito's physique updates for quite a while now and he stays close to the target so chances are the version we are about to see at the end of November will be way better than what we saw in Brazil. I am sure people have some things to say about his back and even I talked about it but remember the guy is just 25 years old and he isn't close to hitting his prime yet. So, we look forward to him come back in 2023, the year of his IFBB Pro debut. James Hollingshead is looking crazy good as we are now under six weeks out of the Olympia. He has been training abs all year because that's the area that needs a lot of improvements in his eyes. He posed very hard in the last week and his weight dropped to 271 pounds, which was the lowest of his prep. But now his weight has started creeping up again. But details are getting better every week. This new system of getting regular refeeds has been working great in James's favor. And he himself admits that he posed way too hard in 2021 in chase of that conditioning and ended up losing all his fullness and that fullness is an absolute necessity 
for James to look impressive on stage. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.